Hi there, so I am going to do a desk tour video today. Um, I'm sorry if um, it's going to be a bit shaky because I'm just holding my phone and I'm using my phone as a camera. But anyway, let's just go ahead and start right away. Um, so this is my desk. It's huge pretty long. I'm just going to show my desk area and not the whole studio because it's not very organized. It's not really set up to do a tour on the whole area right now. Um, but maybe one day I will. Just not today, okay? But um, this has been requested for many, many years. And I decided to do it today because I kind of cleaned up um, and organized. So let's start over here at the end of my desk on the right side. Well, I kind of just placed this here. I still don't know what to do with this beautiful box that I got from this shop or store inside the village shopping center by my house called dried and tied they have a lot of nice stuff there and then i have these bins from michael's uh, with some of my vintage stuff that i am using with my happy mail um sorry i've not done this before so bear with me and i have this trinket thingamajiggy and I just have random stuff in there, glue and whatnot. Um, just random items in here. Oh, there it is. I've been looking for this. Let me just take that out because I need it. I need those. Um, oh, this tin right here. It's there are stickers in it. Snoopy, love it. Okay, so this box right here, it's so cute. There, um, there was a pet tape in it by Lady F. And then there goes my metallic paints by Deco Art, uh, rose gold and gold, and my it called modeling paste by Liquitex and my washi tape dispenser I have two of those there's one underneath two. Oh, I was looking for those tape <laughs> it's there oh my gosh I thought I lost them okay so I forget where I put my stuff and they're just there and then I have that shelf right there and um, for more storage, you know, this desk is actually not, you know, an office desk. It's a dining table from Ikea. <laughs> and I have a lot of stuff underneath, too. Um, so, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but I showed how messy my area was. And then I showed, um, I showed it after it was organized, too. So... I recently reorganized my area and then it got messy again so now I'm kind of cleaning up and kind of reorganizing this wasn't how it was when I reorganized but now I'm like giving myself you know more space again because that area was like chaotic <laughs> there was literally no space for me to work on but um so I put like some notebooks in there, but like obviously it's barricaded by some stuff. I just have a lot of crap. Um, I literally can't get into those, but um, you know, I put stuff there that I rarely use. Um, so it's okay, but I can just easily take 
those out and grab whatever I need from there, you know, if I need them. And I have my wax beads over there. Um, pretty soon these are going to change because I just ordered um, wax beads organizer that are stackable and they have lids and stuff and I can separate the different colors. Um, and then I have my perpetual calendar there, family picture, tried flowers, that's a picture of my friend. She's a really good friend of mine since we were 16, or no, no, we were 14. We were in sophomore, um, back in the Philippines, we were in second year high school. She passed away last year. It's really sad. It was a tragic accident in the Philippines. Um, I mean, in Australia. She was a nurse in Australia. And she got in a tragic car accident. So, I'd like to remember her all the time. So I printed out a picture of her and put it there. And that picture holder there, um, my pen pal sent that to me. I thought it's a perfect thing to hold her picture and I just have all those dried flowers surrounding her and some candles so sometimes I light I light up the tea candles for her um, I don't really know the significance of lighting candles for the dead I don't understand it but if there's anyone that can explain that to me then I would really appreciate that um, but yeah I have my yarns that I use for packaging, happy mail and stuff. Um, some, some stamps right here, my tiny ones and whatnot. Um, hey little angel. I got that from fundraising um, last school year for my son's school. Um, he graduated middle school, so from middle school. Um, so I thought I'd do the fundraising. <laughs> um, I put my jewelry thingy here, the ones that I use like kind of every day and stuff. I don't wear my um, wedding ring, <laughs> wedding band um, when I'm at home because I don't know, I just don't feel comfortable. Um, so my husband kind of gives, gives me a hard time sometimes. But I'm like, it's just there. It's easily accessible to me. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, I have washi right here. Um, these dispensers are from Daiso. Um, I got them from Japan. Um, I have these mild liners, pen holders or whatever, they're pen holders, um, washi, some are from Yohaku, Yohaku, um, do I have Shamil, oh yeah, Shamil Garden, washi, uh, Yohaku, Shamil Garden, Yohaku, Kasiki, um, What's it called? Sunny Sunday. Yohaku. Shumil Garden. And, you know, random stuff. Uh, Crimson illustrations. And um, mixed brands, different washi brands. Um, Midori pouch. I have some random stuff there. And some wax beads more of these things and um, I'm glad I found these I'm just gonna put it there so it, I will remind myself later and then I got more wax beads there my favorite color Sakura and then this vintage precious moments little thingy with dried flowers in it I just transferred it there earlier it was in here but like it's too small for it so I just put it there and this random tea light holder with some random stuff in there. And this wood theme with some stars in it. 
These are uh, wax beads. And then I have this balm, all-purpose all balm from Lush. I use it for, um, on my legs because my legs have been so dry lately and it's been working amazingly. And these are clear beads or transparent beads, I don't know. Um, these came from Taiwan along with this, not along with this um, wooden round box thingy, but um, it's from the same shop. That's what I meant. My furnace. Uh, did I miss anything from this area? I don't think so. But my wax seals. This is a lipstick holder that I found from Amazon. Um, I thought it would be perfect for wax seals and it is so if you guys are, have been trying to find a way to organize your wax seals or if you're into wax seals then this is such a great way to store your wax seals um, as you see you know look at that you can see everything all the designs you know um, no more grabbing a handful before finding the right design that you want to use excuse me and then i have my spoons up here in tea light holders <laughs> that i found from a shop my tweezers for like you know crafting and stuff this i use i use these uh this pair for like picking up wax beads and stuff. My lighters for lighting up the tea lights. Um, yeah, I have a scooper there for like, when I organize the wax beads. Um, this Kwasiki tiny wooden box, it has some stuff in there. Um, oops. And then I have this, these stamps by Lady F. I haven't used them. Um, spoons, more wax seals. I have more coming too. Then I have more wax seals in there by Tend to Sen. Um, my brass seals and the ones from Paris. Um, these tiny um, containers, I love them so much. Um, Transparent wax beads, more wax beads over there. These are wax beads too. I just put it in that box. Um, Zippo lighter, because I love Zippo lighter. These are wax beads too. This is actually a, an, um, what's it called? It's for ink, but I use it for that. And my Snoopy dispenser. I use it for washing. Then I made that. I want to change it because I don't like my calligraphy there. Then I use this for toothpicks. It's actually a toothpick holder anyway. And then my stamps. I just got these and I finally used them. I actually did an unboxing for those, but I'm not sure if I'm going to upload it because it's an hour long with demo. So I put wax beads in here. My Snoopy jars. Um, those are not gonna go, those are not gonna stay there permanently, but, you know. Then, my stamp collection, some pens, and then, it's me and my husband, me and my youngest, my drawing, <laughs> my sons, my ink pads, vintage some stuff, and then some, like, those are my washi and washi holders. Um, um, those are my washi collection. And these are more washi and ink pads. And more stamps right here. And some of my pens. And that's all I'm going to show right now. 
and I think that concludes my desk tour. So if you have any questions and if, you, if there's anything else that you want to see, please let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this little desk tour. I think this is long enough. <laughs> 15 minutes um, thank you so much for watching and always wake up with a grateful heart by Snoopy just kidding all right have a great day bye